Why do Indians worship cows? What is it about the cow? Are they retarded or actually knowledgeable? Nityanam guys, welcoming you back. Um, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. So in this video, I want to start to touch about, uh, touch the topic of the cow worship. So I want to share the different clicks I got by listening to Swamiji, uh, sharing about uh, the, uh, the importance of engaging with the cow and why in India, uh, or I would say, I, would, I should say Sanatana Hindu Dharma is um, relating to the cows in the way they relate to the cows, which is having a lot of reverence and uh, worshiping the cows. So one fundamental thing is a cow is the embodiment of non-violence. Why is it so? The cow, the fundamental, the, the cow will take very little from earth, but it will give so much. So I'll give an example. Everything about everything that the cow generates is auspicious and is enriching everything around. So how do we uh, first before we go there? How do we scale what is non-violence? What is violence? Right. So the more you enrich, the more you contribute, the less violent you are. The less you enrich, the less you contribute, the more violent you are. So let, let that be the scale. And cows are considered extremely non-violent. Why? Because they contribute so much to the environment around them by their simple existence. So here's why. Cows. And here, uh, by the way, in India, when we talk about cows, we refer to desi cows, pure desi cows, not the cows we have nowadays, which are, which I don't remember some A plus or there's different types of cows. And uh, the desi cows produce the right type of milk. There's two types of milk. The type of milk that is available everywhere is not the right kind of milk. It is not a milk which is healthy for you. Like I shared in a previous video, only cow products which are produced by a cow, which is a desi cow, which is worshipped. Only these products should be consumed because they are the only uh, cow products which will give you the full benefits of the bio memory of the cow. So, cows, desi cows, they produce fruit, they produce milk, milk feeds. So it, it has, it contributes to many things. From milk, we make uh, curd, which is a main source of various nutrients that the body needs. From curd and with milk, we make ghee. And ghee is a basically clarified butter, but ghee is considered, I remember I was, I was uh, going through some uh, Shiva, I think it's the Shiva Samhita, which is a scriptural reference uh, for the, in the Yoga Pada of Hinduism. And they were saying that the first food that a yogi should consume is ghee, because ghee allows a lot of processing to happen inside the body, which allows a lot of healthy things to happen inside the body and detox the body so that you can experience your consciousness faster, the space of Paramashivoham. So milk, curd, ghee. Uh, so that's one of the ways she contributes, the cow contributes to humanity. Now, the cow produces cow dung. Cow dung is so important. It, it has so many good uh, benefits. I'll perhaps do a video about that only um, in the near future, but cow dung, uh, is antibacterial, it heals, the smelling, the smelling of the cow dung, it, it, it has so much antioxidants that when you inhale it, it heals your lungs, it heals the body, um, it is used to make sure the insects don't come into the house, it, it has so many qualities, it's so purifying. Um, and it's pure, I mean, it's only grass, right? They only eat grass. And from cow dung, you make so many products like incense um, and so many things like cow, uh, cow dung cakes, which is basically like a kind of a, uh, what's the word? A pancake, basically, of cow dung. And you use it to put in fire, to burn, so that the smell, you know, cleans the air and everything. And uh, it is so important also, um, I, I'll, go be, I'll go to the urine first. Um, another thing is the cow urine, right? Cow urine also has a lot of med medicinal um, purposes. It's extremely important to have a healthy body, again, to allow the detox to the body to happen so that we can experience our consciousness. 
we can realize our Atman, the soul. And when we realize the soul, we realize that the super soul, Paramashiva, and the soul is the, the soul is the reflection of the super soul, Paramashiva. So we enter into the space of oneness with Paramashiva. And the space of eternal bliss. So all these things, um, Swamiji was sharing that there's three things which increase the prana in your body. Prana is the life energy, the life force. And the second thing which increases prana is being in a goshala, smelling the goshala, because the goshala will be filled of smell of cow dung and cow urine. And these two purify the body intensely. It detoxes the body tremendously. But then again, always keeping in mind when I'm talking about cows, I'm talking about desi cows that are worshipped and that are uh, taken care of properly without any form of violence. Not the cows which are mass produced for various reasons. Um, so that's another thing. Another thing is the cow is such a peaceful being. The cow will simply be there taking grass, chewing, regurgitating, chewing. It is such a, it has such a meditative component. Is it, The existence of the cow is an embodiment of meditation. And that is why Nandi, which is the greatest devotee of Paramashiva, is in the form of a bull. A cow is unshakable. And she is so established in that meditativeness of existence, this awareness of consciousness, that um, it is unshakable. It is so, the will of a cow is so strong. Um, another thing is also, obviously, cows make calves. And calves, you know, are used to help to the human, it helped the human civilization to do agriculture, which was very important. Um, so, like that, in so many ways, the cow enriches and contributes to everything around her. She takes only a little bit of grass and she gives so much more. So, in that way, she is extremely nonviolent. And because she has that nonviolence in her, in the muscles and the biomemory, everything that comes from her also gives you that nonviolence. So, that is why consuming cow products is a very important thing in order to detox ourselves from the violence we carry in our muscle memory and bio memory. And actually, the cow in India is called Go Mata. Go refers to cow, Mata refers to mother. India has seven mothers and cow is one of them. And mother is that mother energy, which is nourishing, taking care and making sure and creating the right environment for you to blossom. So cows are very, very important and that is why they are revered and worshiped. When you do puja, when you invoke, this puja is basically the science of invoking um, higher frequencies, gods and goddesses. And when you invoke Devi in the cow by doing the daily puja to the cow and you consume that, my God, the amount of auspiciousness that is bestowed onto you by, again, engaging with the cows and um, consuming the cow products, these cows products, is tremendous healing for your uh, being and even taking care of cows is also very much healing actually when somebody has too much violence uh, Sometimes you know the master will just send them towards taking care of the goshala taking care of cows because just being in the presence of a cow Heals you so so much so cows is not a joke But then again not every cow we're talking about desi cows which are being taken care of without any violence uh, from the space of ahimsa and uh, being worshipped, in which we invoke the Devi, the Goddess, the Feminine Consciousness, the embodiment of Feminine Consciousness. And uh, so yeah, that's what I want to share in this video. Cows is a real thing, it's not a joke. Um, then again, do not consume cow products that are available in markets. I mean, I would uh, advise you not to because any form of products from a cow which is not worshipped is not going to help you, especially not nowadays. It is filled with violence. And when you consume these products, you, cher you allow that violence to be cherished and reinforced in your muscle memory and in your bio memory. So with this, um, if you have any questions, uh, cows is a big topic, uh, write your questions below, like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'm thanking you for watching all these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.